830. New England is the worst of the worst when it comes to one tick-borne illness. So now Connecticut Senator Richard Blumenthal is pitching a plan to tackle Lyme disease. He is indeed. And Fox Connecticut's Audrey Kuchin caught up with doctors spreading a familiar warning during these tick-infested summer months. Morning, Audrey. Good morning, guys. I actually ventured out into Connecticut's beautiful nature yesterday and found this tick thing is really no joke. We went to shoot part of our story at a Newington hiking trail and left with some pests in tow. So good thing my next interview was with Dr. Cynthia Price from Hartford Hospital for a 101 course on Lyme disease symptoms because it is so prevalent in our region. It's timely also because a little later this morning, a U.S. Senator from Connecticut will reveal federal legislation to help doctors better tackle the epidemic that too often goes untreated. Quite the progression again of symptoms that will affect your heart, your lungs, and your brain. It all starts with this tiny tick, but the bacteria it spreads can be deadly. Gone untreated, Lyme disease can damage the neurological system and cause bacterial meningitis. So Dr. Cynthia Price from Hartford Hospital says early detection is key. So slowly and steadily pull out the tick and watch that area for 30 days. If you see a rash, go ahead and go to your primary care physician. 80 to 90 percent of the time, you'll notice a bullseye looking lesion. And at that point, you may experience joint pain, fatigue, even a low grade fever. All these symptoms can be treated by an antibiotic prescribed by your doctor. Of course, it's best to avoid that altogether. When you're out in the woods, wear socks, tuck your pants in. People say wear light colors so that they actually can see the ticks. The ticks are about the size of a poppy seed. We've been walking along this grassy trail in Newington, Cedar Mountain, for about five minutes. We already spotted five ticks on us. In fact, 95% of the cases of Lyme disease happen in just 12 states. Connecticut is among the highest of infection rates, so it's no surprise that a senator from here will be introducing legislation to combat that. Monday, U.S. Senator Richard Blumenthal is scheduled to join Lyme disease advocates at Connecticut Agriculture Experiment Station in New Haven to highlight a bill that would coordinate resources so doctors have access to the latest information and research, speeding up diagnosis and treatment. Lyme disease is named after the town of Lyme, Connecticut, where a number of cases were first identified back in the 70s. According to the Centers for Disease Control, they began tracking cases in 1991. In those 20 years, the incidence of Lyme disease has doubled. The wooded barriers are gone. We're building nice houses, big houses, right out into the rural areas, and the deer are right there. There's no barrier. That tick comes off the deer, gets on our pets, or gets on us, and there you go. Senator Blumenthal's press conference to outline the details of legislation lending federal assistance to help combat Lyme is set for 10 o'clock this morning in New Haven. I'll be there and let you know what he had to say at 11. Also, if you do want more info about Lyme disease symptoms, etc., we have linked some helpful websites at ctnow.com slash morning news. For Fox Connecticut, I'm Audrey